Okay, we are obviously back to this Singer 192K Scottish made with the badge mark of Spartan. And what I failed to show you before we actually launch into a leather sew off in the introductory video was that we are going to be including an instruction manual with this machine as we are with the 1591 Centennial machine. We always try to include a manual, even if it's a reprint like this, and get it professionally bound because it serves as two purposes. Number one, it's going to give you all the answers that you might encounter. Now, quite honestly, I think this 192K, which again is basically a mirror image of the 99K, is probably one of the simplest machines to operate. So you're very, you're probably not likely to encounter very many questions. But if you do, this manual, as you can see, is comprehensive and pretty much will guide you to any uh, answer that you need to find should you encounter one that you know you don't know already. Uh, and we also are our resource as well. If you encounter a question and going through this instruction manual, you can't find it, just shoot us a note. We're always there as a resource for as long as you own that machine. So just drop us a note through eBay and we always get back to our customers very promptly. This manual will also serve the purpose of helping you to maintain the machine. Now, just like the Centennial 1591 that we did a complete service on, we spent probably about 10 hours on it. We also spent about eight hours uh, on this uh, 192K as well. Whether we offer a machine as a feature machine or whether we offer it as a bonus, we're gonna fully service that machine so when it gets to you, it's gonna be ready to get the job done for you. So just wanted to introduce again the fact that we are gonna have an instruction manual for both machines in this listing. All right, now on to the leather sew off. We sewed a, uh, really the same type of leather uh, with the 1591 as well. And I did want to demonstrate a leather sew off with this Mighty Might machine uh, just to show you that it's very capable of doing it. Unlike a featherweight that has that 0.4 amp motor, again, this 192K engineered in Scotland has a 0.8 amp motor. By size and motor, again, larger than the 1591 that is our feature machine in this listing. So it is all about heavy duty even though it's the same length as the Singer Featherweight. A very, very petite machine but powerful. So follow me down to the needle. Let me show you what this can do with a thick piece of genuine cowhide, the same type that we sewed with the 1591. And you'll notice as well uh, as we do the few sew-offs with this uh, 192K, it's got a huge amount of clearance underneath that presser foot as well, just like the 1591. All right, here we go. A very thick piece of genuine cowhide. I started out a little bit slow, but I'll tell you one thing. This machine just jumps in and gets the job done. Look at that as well. Not only did it sew through uh, genuine cowhide leather with a great deal of ease, and if I turn it like this as well, you can see those gorgeous stitches vertically. Hopefully I've got it angled right for the camera. I'll kind of rotate it back and forth slowly to catch the right angle so you can see it nice and clear through the lens of our camera. But it, it, it also produced what I would consider to be a perfect stitch. The spacing, the formation, everything about that stitch is just gorgeous. If we turn it over, we've got an equally gorgeous lock-in stitch as well. And again, I've said it before, the reserve of power when you're sewing through heavy materials is evidenced by that stitch quality. And you know what? This 192K more than proved the point about how well it can sew genuine cowhide leather.